Let's learn about SQL Server 22 feature Parameter Sensitive Plan Optimization. Hello and welcome. Today we are going to see a very interesting feature which is introduced in SQL Server 22. Now you might have heard the word parameter sniffing. Well, parameter sniffing solves some of the performance improvement issues, but now we are going to see how we are going to solve the problem which is introduced by parameter sniffing. All right then. Now first let's see demonstration. Here I have a very simple table already created and it's populated with some of the data. Here I have created index on it and now let's check the data distribution in this table. When we see it is very clear to us that there are two entries with single row and there are Houston which is maximum amount of the data. Now here I have already created a stored procedure where I have CT in a where condition. First, we'll change our compatibility level to 150, which stands for SQL Server 2019. After doing that, let's run this store procedure with five different parameters. I have already enabled the execution plan. Now, the execution is completed. Let's check the execution plan. Here, you can clearly see that each of the query has same execution plan. This is because when SQL Server ran, the very first store procedure, it sniffed the parameter and pretty much used the same parameter and execution plan for rest of the query. Now, this might be good if your data is evenly distributed. But if your data is unevenly distributed, then you need different execution plan for different scenario. And that's exactly what is introduced in SQL Server 2022. And for that, you just have to change the compatibility level to 160, which stands for SQL Server 2022. Once we do that, let's run the same five store procedures once again. Once the execution is completed, we can go and check the execution plan. Here, you will see some additional details over here after the query, and it says option. Here is the query variant one, three, and two. This means this particular store procedure has created three different variants based on the different data variation. They each stands for small, medium and large cardinality differences. This is recently introduced in SQL Server 22 and I'm pretty excited for that. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you soon in another episode of SQL in the 60 Second. If you like what you see, please do not forget to like, subscribe and share this video.